Hello YouTube, how's it going? It's Jake with Christian Metal Dude. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own vanilla server for Minecraft 1.6.2. So you're going to want to start off by going on to Minecraft.net. Just like this. Now you want to go download it here. You're going to see this under multiplayer server. You want to download this. Just click it and it should start downloading. Now, this is just vanilla, but um, I will be putting up a bucket server tutorial very soon. Um, okay, we're going to put this on the desktop. Alright, now what you want to do is create a new folder. It does not matter what you call it, but I recommend you call it bucket, or not bucket, excuse me server or something just so you know what it is. You want to put this inside of that. Open it up and you want to double click it. And yes, just press run. We'll see it created some stuff there. And uh, this is kind of your console type thing. And uh, this here is just saying it's preparing spawn and everything, all that jazz and good we are done so once that happens you just type in here stop press enter it'll say it's saving chunks for level blah 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 you can close it but I recommend you type in stop alright now here is the uh, actual server part uh, here is where you can control stuff with your server so if you go right here you'll see this this is the properties file if you double click that you have all this. Now this might look complicated. It's not. Don't worry. Here you have all your different nonsense. So we have uh, about the world. So your port, please leave that at 25565 recommended. Um, you can force the game mode. Do not change the server IP. Everyone thinks you need to. You don't need to. Change your max build height. Whitelist if you want it on or off. So say you want PvP to be off. It'll be at true. You just go back and you type in false. If I want the difficulty to be to 2, I think that's medium, put it in 2. Generate structures, false, whatever you want, it's up to you. Here's the message of the day. Under the title it will say something, usually like the name of the server or whatever. Um, that's where you type that. I will have a tutorial soon on how to make that better with colors and everything. So once you have this all set, you can uh, save that. And uh, if you turn on a whitelist, you can add your whitelists here and stuff. And uh, if you want to change your world, if you want to put in a single player world, you have to just delete this right here. And then put in another world from your other worlds. So to do that, you would go into your folder, go percentage app data, percentage Minecraft. Scroll all the way down to saves, and you're going to want to just take out whatever world. Oh, I took out two, whatever. And you're going to have to rename that one world. So you just rename it world, and then you can put it in that folder. Make sure the other one is deleted. All right, now the next part. So you can actually, uh, the server is usable now. You're basically done, but it's only usable to you you can type in localhost in your server IP and you'll be able to join it but doesn't always work well it won't work for other people you need to port forward so I believe how this works is uh, you want to go into your little start menu here type in CMD go in here type in IP config press enter I believe it's the f default gateway we want. So we can get, get actually get out of this. Now you can either write this down or um, or just kind of memorize it or whatever. So we want to type that in 
Oh, I already have mine in, so just press enter. I believe this is the right thing. You have to excuse me, I'm not too good with port forwarding. Okay, good. So ours is with TELUS. This is our router settings, basically. Uh, you're going to want to sign in. The default username is generally admin and the default password is generally admin or password or something like that but you can probably check on the side of your router what it is or something like that um, so admin and then my password I changed mine to a custom one so login and what we're going to be doing now is port forwarding the IP so other people can use it so I believe on ours it will be different for everyone so you might want to go actually on YouTube and search how to port forward with your router I'm gonna try a wireless setup um, I think it's in here I think maybe not okay we'll try firewall here we go port forwarding now you want the you'll see a starting port and an ending port and you want to put it 25565 and 25565 for both of those. Now your LAN IP address, ah oh dang it, um, LAN IP you want to get from here, your IPv4 address, so you want to type that in right here. So that's just your IPv4 from, from earlier in the CMD here, right there. All right, now um, I think there should be an option to leave it at TCP, UDP, or both. Mine doesn't have both. I think we can just use TCP. Yeah, we can on this one. Starting port 25565, 25565. Um, remote IP address I think we just do our other address so one night I think you just do your uh, this one again I believe I'm sorry you guys I'm not very good with port forwarding so if you need more help with that please just google how to port forward be people a lot more advanced with it than me <laughs> so actually I recommend you pause the video here and go find another tutorial because I'm basically teaching you crap right now I don't know how to do this so um, but I believe now we just press apply. Now I uh, should make this, but I already have one like this, so it won't let me do another one. But that's basically it for the port forwarding. Now you're going to want to go into Minecraft. And I will show you how you would connect and other people will connect. Alright. I'm going to go to your multiplayer. Now when you're connecting, since it's on your uh, your computer that you're hosting this... Oh, actually, wait, 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 hold up. First we have to run the server. So to do that, once you have everything set up, just double click this, press run. And uh, it will prepare all your spawn and everything. And it is actually up right now. Refresh this. I already have local host in, but when you're connecting yourself you want to go in the server address local host you can have up here with whatever you want to press done and there's your server now a lot of people will try to connect and they will have this error right here that I generally have failed to verify username blah 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 what you want to do is go into your server settings go into here your server and you're going to find um, online mode you're going to want to change that excuse me change that to false save it now we're actually going to have to stop and restart the server so now we should be able to join this once you change that to false
And here you go, we are on your server. This is your server, everything's set up. It's lagging quite a bit right now, but that's basically it, guys. So uh, if you like this tutorial, please give me, well, subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Don't really care. Like me on Facebook, whatever. All the links in the description and all the links to the uh, stuff I gave you um, or all the websites I was using will be in the description. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. So, all right. And when you want other people to join your server, you're actually going to go onto another website. Excuse me. I keep forgetting stuff. Just type in what's my IP. And it should say right here on Google, but there's lots of websites too. So you want to give people this address when they're going to connect. And yeah, this is mine, so you guys can join my server if you want. It's up like four hours a day, whatever. But yeah, you guys can join if you see it on. It'd be pretty cool. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.